Ventriloquist dummies are to puppets as mimes are to human beings. Today's clip once again comes from the Cringe Venom archives. I'm really starting to wonder about that guy. Uh, and it features a man-child and his puppet, Marty. Why the disgust at dummies? In a word, codependency. We puppets don't need to sit on the lap of a master. We stand alone without the help of some foil or stooge. All dummies need to have their hands held. And have you ever noticed that they have the same speech impediments? Instead of saying, like, blue, they say, glue? Anyway, today's video features a horribly disfigured, speech-impaired born-again who's a shut-in and probably lives with his grandma. Oh, and his dummy, Marty. Here's the video, Ron and Marty, know and glow with the Lord. Huh. If going to church every Sunday makes you a Christian, then going to McDonald's every week must make me a hamburger. Huh. Marty, or well, Ron, it's true. Well, you do make a good point there. Just going to church doesn't make a person a Christian. That's true. You know, Ron, you have to invite Jesus Christ to come into your heart and ask him to forgive you of your sins. That's right, Marty. And you know, after you do that, you're supposed to grow in the Lord. Huh? Well, I don't mean we're supposed to grow physically, but we are supposed to grow spiritually. You know, I'm thinking of 2 Peter 3.18, which says we're supposed to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, what does that mean? Well, it just simply means, Marty, that we're supposed to get to know the Lord better and grow in our relationship with Him. Hey, Ron, I know some ways we can grow in the Lord. Really? What's that? Well, uh, first of all, by going to church. That's a good idea, Marty. You know, as we mentioned a moment ago, going to church doesn't make you a Christian, but it's certainly important to go to church because there we learn about the Lord and it's good to fellowship with other people who believe as we do. Can you think of some other ways that we can grow in our relationship with the Lord? Well, let's see, by uh, reading God's Word. Well, that's right, Marty. Reading the Bible is certainly an important way that we can grow in the Lord because the Bible contains a lot of important instructions on how we should live. Oh, uh, let's see. What about uh, talking to God, praying? Well, that's right, Marty. What would you think about a person who, who said that they were a good friend of yours, but then they never talked to you? I would say he wasn't really a very close friend at all. That's right. But you know, a lot of times, Marty, people say, well, I talk to the Lord. I love the Lord. He's a really close friend of mine. But they really don't pray very often. Uh, what about witnessing and telling others about God? That's important too, Marty. That helps us to grow in our faith by telling others about Jesus Christ. You know, Marty, I once heard someone say that we should know Him, grow in Him, and glow for Him. What's that? We should know Him, grow in Him, and glow for Him. Hey, Sheriff Don, I want to know and glow in the Lord. Hey, good, Marty, and I do too. And I'm going to introduce somebody that glows in the Lord. It's our own Darcy Wilson. Okay, by now you know the drill. We got to watch it again. We got to. Instead of destroying it, we've got to watch it again. I'm going to quit the show. Just roll it again and let's... Break this biatch down. Huh. If going to church every Sunday makes you a Christian, then going to McDonald's every week must make me a hamburger. Huh. Cue the sound of no one laughing. It's true. Well, you do make a good point there. Just going to church doesn't make a person a Christian. That's true. You know, Ron, you have to invite Jesus Christ to come into your heart and ask him to forgive you of your sins. Again with asking Jesus to come into your heart. Have these people ever seen a porno? That's right, Marty. And you know, after you do that, you're supposed to grow in the Lord. Is uh, that an erection well, metaphor? I don't mean we're supposed to grow physically, but we are supposed to grow spiritually. Oh, you know, a I'm spiritual erection. Which says we're supposed to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, what does that mean? Um, I don't think Marty knows English. If he didn't understand that last sentence. Relationship with him. Hey, Ron, I know some ways we can grow in the Lord. Oh, this ought to be good. 
Now, this is an interesting camera angle. Ron and Marty are shoved into a distant corner, away from the audience, who don't seem to know what's going on. I've got a feeling that Ron and Marty were forced onto the show because they're the nephew of the producer. Make you a Christian, but it's certainly important to go to church because there we learn about the Lord and it's good to fellowship with other people who believe as we do. Can you think of some other ways that we can grow in our relationship with the Lord? Smite the disbelievers! By uh, reading God's word. Reading God's what? Reading, reading his GERD? What the f*** is a GERD? Because the Bible contains a lot of important instructions on how we should live. Uh, let's see, what about, uh, talking to God? Praying! Praying? Seriously, Marty, see a speech therapist. Well, that's right, Marty. What would you think about a person who, who said that they were a good friend of yours, but then they never talked to you? Uh-oh! I have a feeling that Ron knows a lot about that. Probably why he's in the corner of the studio. Don't worry, Ron. One day you'll make them pay. You'll make them all pay. They really don't pray very often. Uh, what about witnessing and telling others about God? That's important too, Marty. That helps us to grow in our faith. Great. So being preachy and a loudmouth makes you grow in the Lord. Say that we should know Him, grow in Him, and glow for Him. What's that? <laughs> Damn, Ron. Not even Marty believes the crap coming out of your mouth. We should know Him, grow in Him, and glow for Him. Um, can you guys explain glow, please? Like a radioactive glow? And I do, too. And I'm going to introduce somebody that glows in the Lord. It's our own Darcy Wilson. And so that was the joylessness that was Ron and Marty know and glow in the Lord. Ron and Marty continued their careers touring the country, boring the bejesus out of Christian kids until the inevitable murder-suicide in a seedy motel room in the ventriloquist slums of Shanghai. Actually, I made that part up. But it's fun to dream, isn't it, kids? Actually, it's the only way I'm making it through these videos. Until next week, this is Imaginary Gary reminding you to stay sexy. Greetings from Federation Headquarters. Today is Wednesday, the 28th, 2011, and today is Rosh Hashanah, uh, Fish Tank Floor Show Night, and National Good Neighbor Day. So, convert to Judaism, perform a show for your fish, and then give your neighbor a nice gift. Like a performing show for his fish! First, there was a lot of family foo-foo, family foo? Family foo. There was a lot of stuff going on at home um, that's been keeping me away from my computer as of late. Um, but hopefully things have calmed down a little bit and I can start responding to comments and stuff like that and making response videos that have been promising people for a long time. Um, so hopefully um, I'll be back to my old self. Second, Ariel will be going back to the hospital on Friday for another round of chemo, this time for only two days. Um, so, if I seem tired on Monday, please be kind. Third! That's it. Short news day. Um, until Friday, this has been Jason with a D. So I figure that if someone is new age and Gary is pagan, that they'll, you know, make a good couple. I know he's half monster. What does that have to do with anything? My girlfriend is a monster. No, not as a metaphor. She literally is a monster. Huh? We're on? On what? Oh, uh, <clears throat> hello, my little ponies. Now's the time where we welcome our new subs, and I gently make fun of the username. That's a weird welcoming gift. Uh, anyways, welcome! Robert W. Lester. Thanks for your full name. Can uh, we have your credit card number? Crude Omatic. Got crud you need to have sliced, diced, or spliced? Try the Crude Omatic. Brainiac 1056. Who the hell was that? Agus made. No, seriously. Who the heck was that? Conti 87. I have one gig on this channel. One. 
I don't want other puppets horning in on my turf. Peace in Christ alone. When I find you, smarmy guy, I will kill you. Now you've messed up my greetings. Macabra Malefica. Uh, Macabra Malefica. I, I guess you're a goth. Or someone who has dreams of gothdom. Textbook case. Man, I feel violated. If there's going to be a new puppet on this channel, I need to know in advance. Anyways, welcome new subs. You all want rock. And remember, if you've subbed and your name wasn't shouted out, PM meet Jason and let him know. Mother I will find you, you hear me? I will find you. 